Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and using SD cards to read or write data. And I start with the wiring, then I show you the Arduino example and also the ESP IDF example in Eclipse and also do some file IO testing. My micro SD card adapter I connect to the SPI bus of the ESP32. So I connect first the ground, then the master out slave in or mosi pin. Then we continue with the master in slave out or miso pin. And then we connect the clock, the client select line, and last but not least, the 3.3 volt supply rail. And the mosi pin goes to GPIO pin 23 and MISO to 19. The clock goes to GPIO pin 18 and the client select line to GPIO pin 5. And to start with the SD card, I use just Gparted on my Ubuntu system to format my SD card with FAT32 file system. But you can also try to use FAT16 file system for smaller SD cards. So we start by opening the example provided by Espresso for our SD card. And I'm just using this example, the SD card test sketch. And this begins by initializing the serial interface. Then we mount the SD card and printing out the SD card type and I'm just using SD card HC or high capacity SD cards and not MMC or normal SD cards. Then we do some file system stuff like listing the directory, creating a directory, removing the directory, listing it again, then write a file append some text to a file, read the file, delete the file, rename it and so on. And then last but not least, we also test the file IO with the Arduino IDE. So let's flush our example and open the serial monitor and we can see the output. So I open the serial monitor, press the reset button and we see the output. We need around about 2.8 seconds to read a one megabyte file and write it in 4.3 seconds. And we can compare this later to the ESP IDF raw functions that I use for the similar testing. And this example based also on an example provided by Espresso. So most of the stuff just a copy and I do some slightly changes to this file. So let's have a squeeze look. We start by the app main and I'm just using the SPI mode and not the MMC mode. So I configure the SPI pins, MOSI, MISO, clock and client select as already told. Then we mount the SD card to the virtual file system and like on the Arduino example we print out the card info and open some file do some deleting renaming it creating a directory and so and also listing a directory this is some part I added in this example but you can see it you just need some basic file system functions like open dear, read dear, and also the stat function to decide if the node is a directory or a file and so. And then we also do the file IO testing, but I do it with different block sizes so we can compare the different block sizes. So let's flash the example to our ESP32 and see the output. So we also open the file, reading the directory and so on. And now the file IO testing. So block size 8K and I also do 16 kilobytes of block size. So as we see, first of all, our example is a little bit faster than the Arduino IDE. We just need with the same block size and the, as the Arduino example, we only need 3.7 seconds for writing and not 4.3 seconds. And also the reading is a little bit faster. 
But as we see, if we increase the block size, we get faster and faster. So the difference between 8 kilobyte and 16 kilobyte is not so immense. But as you see, we're getting faster. And here are a summary with the C functions I use for file manipulation, stat for file statistics, rename to rename a file, unlink to delete a file, and for directory manipulation, make directory, mkdir, open directory, close directory, and also read directory. And for file reading and writing, we use f open, f close, f read f write f get c f get s f put c and f put s and many more if you look around all the libraries that are also provided with the esp32 so i hope you find this useful and see how easy it is to integrate a sd card to your project and hopefully you learn something today and if you miss something or want to do some additional comments just use the comment sections down below so i wish you a nice day see you next time and bye bye